good morning friends it's my pleasure to be part of uh, the as you conclude 2021 uh, the theme is uh, about the united nations uh, sustainable development goals 2030 i am associated with the in this mission from quite some time along with the green thinkers and i2or so i feel uh, pleased that uh, they have invited me as a keynote speaker so we will all see how uh, the present pandemic has uh, played hell with the globe the whole of globe and what we can learn from them i made a short presentation and i hope that uh, we shall all share that and uh, see uh, what exactly uh, could have been done in this i'll now move on to my presentation and we'll see the slides over there and uh, learn from them thank you so this is the brief about the azu conclave it is uh, organized uh, in association with the i2or green thinkers center for modern construction uh, western uh, uh sydney university australia sustainable cosmos india and professor gt agarwal center for scientific development and environment advocacy i welcome you to my presentation this is about me i am uh, dr lab singh phd i am a fellow of institute of engineers and i have been awarded the title of cosmos ambassador and uh, uh global change maker by uh, green thinkers and uh, uh, i too are jointly so this is about the pandemic uh, uh, this is the tragedy i have called it so as we all know the whole world is facing the dangers of uh, spread of corona virus which is causing deaths at ever increasing rate the main fear of this epidemic is that there is no vaccine or medicine which is proved and which is available known to us which can prevent the uh, virus or kill it moreover it is contagious uh, disease which gets transmitted through droplets in cough sneezing or saliva from human to human my assessment about uh, the pandemic is that the, the point which i want to make here is that we as people on this planet earth have so far failed to protect our fellow citizens and are uh, ourselves equally at great risk till any treatment is discovered therefore i have tried to ponder over some of the points of international importance which relate to the very issue of sustainability of life on earth which is the mission of uh, this conclave also so uh, not only humans but also i am concerned about the all the species of plant and uh, animal kingdom now what we have done is that we have failed to anticipate uh, this tragedy this uh, pandemic uh, and uh, disaster you know so we could not anticipate the germination and the growth of this uh, deadly virus despite so many research institutions and virology scientists working day in and day out on various types of procedures and processes on viruses and infections this virus to my understanding has been detected in animals first and then transmitted from animal food consumed by humans followed by human to human chain reaction so what why it has happened is that we have inadequacy of tools and research facilities so our laboratories and uh, scientific uh, advancements badly lack the methods and uh, techniques 
to detect new types of viruses and once detected we are not well equipped to do research at fast track to find a vaccine for such new harmful viruses this deficiency or weakness in our system continues continues despite the efficacy of all the available tools of uh, artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning ar vr and neural networks where is the deficient link why we have uh, come uh, far uh, to suffer from uh, this disease is that we are not transparently interconnected through an efficient research and knowledge base network which can be shared quickly and propagated seamlessly to find a sustainable solution to such like global crisis and our reaction to tragedy the the reaction which global has shown to this uh, tragedy to prevent it from spreading is that uh, they have done it by sealing the international and state borders stopping the air and surface travel and even restricting ourselves within homes we have been trying to control the transmission and spreading of this corona virus to minimize the damage of health and life now the danger and sustainability why we want that sustainability should be a goal global goal rather is this reason you know that we uh, under such a uh, pandemic uh, circumstances we are not able to sustain you know people are dying and without uh, much help from uh, medical side and nobody knows what to do so th- this is where the it's a, it's a disaster for the planet earth so the tragedy of universal level has once again challenged the human race threatened human existence and endangered the sustainability of health and living of all other species too sustainability goals set by un have to reflect upon such disaster happenings and developments also so we have to think global we have to work as an integrated and converged global community to jointly face this health emergency at the earliest our vision should be that uh, the important point is that the solution has to be sustainable and long term and future proof also our future course of action which i suggest is that the the lessons learned from this catastrophic and disastrous uh, universal calamity has to be analyzed and applied to reframe the sustainable development goals to 030 under the un command and guidance thanks very much thank you everybody and i especially welcome and uh, feel thankful to all the foreign uh, dignitaries also and uh, uh, all the dignitaries uh, i was told that more than 40 countries uh, are participating in this conclave i welcome them and i also take the opportunity to wish them all the best and they we have to all should agree that we have to be safe wash our hands frequently follow social distancing self isolation cooperate with the government and administration at least till a permanent treatment is found thank you very much and once again i am thankful to i2or green thinkers gd agarwal center for excellence and other uh, like the university in australia we we all are uh, we welcome them and we i personally feel obliged that uh, you have given me the chance to be with you thank you so much i'm grateful take care bye thank you